Chapter 10 The 18th of January Sunday started very quietly. We didn't talk much to each other. Both Andrea and I were unsure of what we were going to do and what might happen. At three o'clock on Sunday afternoon, Petra arrived to look after Cotty. What's the matter with you two? she asked, as we put our coats on. You look as if you're visiting someone in hospital rather than going to a tea party. We tried to smile as we left the house, but we were both afraid. We had decided to go for a walk to use the time before our meeting. We went to Margaret Island, the lovely island park in the middle of the river Danube. It was a place we always liked going to, with its huge trees full of singing birds. We often took Cotty there to get some fresh air. But today, although it was quite a nice winter afternoon, we were thinking about the meeting too much to enjoy it. We didn't speak much. At quarter to six, we started to walk back over the wide grey river, and into the streets of the 13th district. By half past six, we were standing opposite number seven, Felke Utsa. It was evening by now, and the street was as dark as usual. Where do you think we should wait? asked Andrea. You stay on this side of the road, I answered. When it's time, I'll go and stand outside the door. You watch and listen carefully. At ten to seven, I walked across the road. There was nobody around, just Andrea and I. Then suddenly, I heard a noise, then an inside door shut. I looked across at Andrea. I heard the sound of someone running. The door opened and out ran a man, straight into me. I fell to the ground, shouting, Hey! The man looked round. He had my face. Sorry, he said in Hungarian, and went off quickly to the end of the street. I stood up. Andrea was standing there looking at me. I could see she didn't understand what had just happened. Quick! I shouted. Follow him! I ran up to the end of the street and crossed over into Gerge Utsa. The man was just going down into the wine bar. Andrea arrived by my side a moment later. There! I shouted. Did you see? He went down into the wine cellar. Come on! I ran along to Jolt's bar, pulling Andrea after me. I went down the stairs and pushed the door. It was shut. Of course, it was Sunday afternoon, Jolt's afternoon off. I sat down on the steps and looked at the locked door. Andrea sat beside me and put her arm round my shoulder. When I looked at her, she had a strange look in her eyes. As we walked home, we talked about what had happened. It was just the same as last year, I said. Just the same. But I saw nothing and heard nothing. All I saw was you falling over and shouting, she said. And it was very strange. You just fell over. We walked the rest of the way home without speaking. When Petra had left, we didn't talk very much all evening. For me, everything had been the same as last year. 
except that this time there had been no snow to show that the man had left no footprints, and the bar he went into had been closed. That night I had the dream again. I was standing outside the building. I heard the new noise, much louder now. The door opened. The man ran out of the door and knocked me over. He turned to say sorry, and when I looked at him, it was me I saw. The strange thing was that every time I had the dream, the noise got louder and louder. And I always woke up feeling terribly afraid.